Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here with a breakdown for the very first teaser trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi. So this is something that basically the entire world has been waiting for since December of 2015, right after we got The Force Awakens. So basically what I'm going to do is just break down the big key sequences from this trailer and tell you guys what I think is happening in the shots. So first up, the trailer starts off with Rey, and it looks like her concentration breaks, possibly when she's training with Luke to kind of master the Force and the Jedi ways. Throughout the trailer, we hear Luke narrating to Rey, I believe, talking about, you know, just breathing in, uh, reaching out with the Force, finding out what you see, and things like that. Very much mirrors the way that, uh... Yoda trained with Luke on Dagobah. So the next couple shots here we see the island that Luke has been staying on and it looks like the majority of the film or at least the first act pertaining with Rey and Luke are going to be focused on this island. I think that a lot of the footage with them is going to be here and then maybe towards the second or third act we're going to be seeing them finally leaving this island. So next up here it looks like Rey is again training with the force. She's looking at some giant tidal waves hitting the island. This looks like a a semicircle type of thing where you know maybe she's uh, using her force powers to manipulate the water or something like that it looks pretty cool I love the shot here so next up here it looks like Rey is again using her force abilities you see all the stuff levitating around her okay the next shot here we finally get our first look at Carrie Fisher's general Leia for the film and it looks to be on some type of a bridge for a um, big cruiser of the Republic's fleet you know and it looks like they're looking at a galaxy map or something so possibly in this scene maybe they've actually located Luke Skywalker's transponder or Rey has signaled back to them or maybe they're just looking at another battle that's going on because later on in the trailer we can see some epic space fights. So next up here the narration is talking about what does Rey see when she reaches out with the force she talks about the light side and then of course we see this image of Kylo Ren's masks uh, burned up and it's she says it's the darkness out there you know the dark side of the force and if you actually listen really closely you can hear Alec Guinness as uh, Obi-Wan actually speaking out and saying the dark side of the force. I think it's actually from his dialogue exchange with Luke in A New Hope where he's talking about how Vader was corrupted by or seduced by the dark side of the force. So I really love the imagery again here. A lot of the shots in this trailer are just amazing, you know, really establishing shots, looking at a specific piece and really focusing on that to give the maximum impact. So the next shot here is an interesting one because I think it is actually inside of a cave in Luke's Island where you can see some old books. At first I didn't know what it was and I kind of looked closer again at it and you can tell it's a small little bookshelf um, because the next shot directly looks like someone kind of uh, you know looking over one of the books in more detail and they have a glove on so it might be Luke actually that kind of pulled this book down for Rey to show her about uh, some of the old ways of the Jedi or maybe the old Republic or the Rebellion or what was going on in the galaxy all these years. The next shot's really awesome. It's a very wide angle, wide lens. You know, you can see Rey training with the lightsaber while Luke watches her. I love the imagery here. I can't wait to see how Luke and Rey's relationship is going to develop over this film because it seems like Luke is very reluctant to train her even though she wants to learn about the ways of the Jedi and she's ready to learn and I think that uh, it's going to be really cool seeing her evolution and maybe it'll be a little bit different from Luke's story because, you know, obviously in Empire Strikes Back, Luke walked away from his training early so maybe Rey will actually get to finish her Jedi training without leaving it early. So the next couple shots, it looks like some weird desert planet. This is a very new uh, environment to the Star Wars universe. You know, you can see these weird speeder things moving across the landscape, and way off in the distance, I believe those are AT-AT walkers. So, can't wait to see how this sequence is going to play out on screen. It looks like a very uh, climactic kind of action scene. Again, the next shot here, we can just see the speeders more in depth. Uh, you know, they're letting off this weird uh, red smoke or something, possibly a transponder or a signal for the fleet above. This shot here we can see John Boyega's character Finn, our first look at his character. So obviously in The Force Awakens, Finn was pretty traumatically injured and it looks like, you know, this movie is going to be a lot about him recovering and then in the panel for Celebration they talked about how Finn's character is really going to evolve over this film, you know. In The Force Awakens he was kind of a novice and then in this movie he's going to be really trying to find himself in the world where he fits. Does he want to join the resistance? Does he want to go off on his own and be kind of a, you know, smuggler or something? something and just keep running from everyone or does he want to take that next step so I can't wait to see Finn's transformation because I wasn't the hugest fan of him in The Force Awakens but I think that his character does have a lot of promise and it can go in a very interesting direction if they choose to go that route with it 
Woods. So next up, it looks like Poe is in some sort of a bridge on a giant ship and it's getting attacked because you can see him and BB-8 and a lot of other resistance soldiers frantically running about. Again, this shot here shows us the hangar bay of the giant ship and a lot of explosions are going on. A lot of the X-Wing fighters and things like that are getting blown up in the hangar. So I'm guessing a lot of this stuff correlates to a lot of the shots that we'll see later on in the trailer where you get the massive space battle, probably towards the third act of the film. Okay, so this shot right here with the Millennium Falcon, it looks like this is possibly from from the same desert planet with the AT-AT walkers and those weird new sort of speeder things going along. I think the Millennium Falcon will be in this sequence, so really cool to see it back. Uh, of course, you know, the most iconic ship in all of Star Wars, the Millennium Falcon, has to be in this movie. Okay, so the next two shots we see Rey and Kylo. Now, the cool thing about this is Rey is charging forward, lightsaber in hand, and you can see the blue kind of hue from the lightsaber's color shining on her face. I really like the imagery because it, you know it's a parallel between her and then the next shot of Kylo, you know, holding out his lightsaber. You got the red sort of light focus back on his face. So really cool. Can't wait to see how these two characters square off again in the future because you can definitely tell Kylo is scarred from his encounter with Rey in The Force Awakens which you can clearly see the scar right above his eye. The interesting thing about this film is going to be that Kylo actually doesn't wear his mask, I believe. He, you know, earlier we saw in the trailer he destroys it, so it looks like maybe he's um, been upset over what happened to the Force Awakens. He doesn't think he's worthy of the mask possibly anymore, or he just wants to show everyone you know, the battle scars that he has in this film. Okay, so this shot right here is probably the most important shot of the trailer for me. Uh, it definitely shows me possibly a flashback to what happened with Luke. I think this is not going to be part of the actual narrative of, the, of episode 8, but it's going to be a flashback showing what happened to Luke's academy, you know, the Jedi Academy, that we had heard um, alluded to in episode 7, The Force Awakens. I think that this is Luke on his knees, you know, upset, and then you can see R2 next to him, and they're both pretty distraught over what's happened. I think that Kylo obviously turned against them and you know, destroyed the whole Jedi Academy and everything, and this is going to be a very big, pivotal part of the trailer, why Luke wants to step away and let the Jedi Order die. Next up we can see uh, Captain Phasma and a lot of the First Order soldiers emerging from a lot of a smoke and fiery explosion. Guessing this is probably on the same bridge that Poe Dameron's being attacked on. They probably board the ship or something later on in the fight. And then the last couple shots here I wanted to talk about, we can see the uh, big battle sequence up above in space. You can see a lot of ships flying around and things going everywhere. It's a pretty climactic uh, sequence, you know, very much harkens back to a lot of the imagery we saw in possibly Return of the Jedi and things like that, but there are a lot of new ships in this trailer. We can see, you know, a lot of stuff that the Resistance is using that I actually don't think we've seen in previous films, so it's always nice to get new stuff added to the Star Wars mythology. Okay, so the last shot of the trailer here, we get to see Luke walking out of a cave, saying that the only thing he believes is that the Jedi must end. So very interesting. I guess that kind of goes back into the whole reason that the film is called The Last Jedi because it's really about kind of Luke's journey and Rey's journey being parallels. You know, Rey wants the Jedi to continue and she wants to learn more about the Jedi while Luke is the reluctant kind of mentor that doesn't want the Jedi to continue and things like that. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening in this movie, I guess, with just the larger state of the galaxy and, you know, him telling her about what happened with the Jedi and what went wrong when he tried to train a new generation of Jedi, possibly after Return of the Jedi. So I can't wait to see more of the backstory of what happened to Luke because really I think that's the most intriguing thing to me about this film and getting more into Luke's character because I really want to know what happened to him during those years. Like we didn't know anything. We just see that he's just some hermit, you know, living off on an island all by himself. So I'm really curious to see what really happened to the guy and why he kind of stepped away from everyone and made this weird crazy map to <laughs> people could find him and stuff on this island. And I just want to see, you know, what's going on with him. And I'm guessing, you know, a lot of the stuff that we're going to see with him and Ray is going to be cool. So really looking forward to the movie you know i was not the biggest fan of the force awakens but so far this trailer is doing a lot for me it's giving me an idea of what this movie is going to be it looks to be a much darker kind of a character driven piece rather than 
what The Force Awakens was, was I think it was just kind of introducing a new generation to Star Wars again, like we got kind of with The Phantom Menace, but hopefully this movie is good, and hopefully it does well by the characters and the storyline. Obviously, as a big fan of Star Wars, I want to see more of these movies, and I hope they're all good, because that's really what we want at the end of the day. So, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you guys take away the most from this first teaser trailer for The Last Jedi, and what do you think's going on with Luke and those weird shots? of him kind of cloaked on his knees in front of that Jedi Academy. What do you think of Kylo, Rey's evolution, and things like that? If you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe for more content like this. We cover all the latest news, theories, and trailer breakdowns here at the Hybrid Network. My name is Nick, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.